Okay, like every other person out there that's purchased a G0704 mil from Grizzly, at one point you want to do the CNC conversion. So this is the start of a on-the-fly documentation of the process of taking this mill here and uh, converting it to CNC. I'm using a, a product here I found online I purchased and uh, we'll go over that in detail. And the trials and tribulations of this process and uh, essentially the, what I've found so far is the lack of an affordable kit. You know, everybody wants to sell something for $3,000, and at that point, I might as well just bought a Tormach for 6 k instead of these two items individually. But uh, I got a route I'm going to show and share. Hope it's useful to someone else in the same situation. Okay, here's the kit I'm going to attempt to install on my mill from Automation Technologies uh, that has the three axis motion control. You can see there's the X, Y, and Z axis, the big motor being for the Z. And there's the power supply, the three controllers for each of the motors. Here's the breakout board, which has a parallel port that you plug into your PC to then control the system, so the code. And then here are the mounting brackets. So we have the uh, X, Y, um, which was actually the incorrect, uh, these threads on um, these bolts that were included for the standoffs do not thread into the holes. You can see that on the device. And then there's the one that goes on top of the mill for the Z. Uh, here's the three ball screws it came with. Um, the backlash seems pretty nominal. Uh, this kit requires me to drill a hole in the back of the G704 in the base plate and in the pillar. Um, so that's going to be an interesting experiment since I would want to drill that with a mill, but i got to take it apart to drill the hole. Here's the new uh, Y axis. Looks like we got some bolts here. Um, I don't know if it'll show up here. It doesn't look like it, but... It looks like it's a finer thread than the other ones that were sent that were incorrect. And they are definitely a finer thread. And then it looks like I got a new standoff here. I can open this up. There's an overusage of uh, saran wrap, I guess. I didn't know it came in green. Okay, let's get it here. So it looks like it's just the standoffs I was sent to replace the ones that I had here, and not the bearing block. Okay, here's the new standoffs. It looks like I didn't get a new bearing block for the uh, y-axis, um, which of course is the most critical part of the whole puzzle because that's where you got to drill the holes in the back to hold the motor. Right off the bat, I see there's a huge difference between these two blocks here. So these are the new ones and the new screws. And here's the old one for comparison that was sent originally with the kit. And you can see that there is a significant difference in height and width of the material used to mill it. Well, maybe it's just height. Looks like it's the same width. I'm going to go through and uh, we'll check how parallel these surfaces have been milled, the flatness of them, and just give it a good thorough once over since my goal is to make the mill more accurate, not to introduce uh, inaccuracies in it, uh, which is sort of concerned about right now. So let's see if this new block threads into this uh, adapter. And yeah, the screws are actually threading in. Try the other one. I don't know which direction these blocks are supposed to attach, so I'm just my best guess. There's no paperwork supplied, no instructions supplied. I had to email the company to get even the wiring diagrams. Nothing said what the 
wiring system I'm supposed to use for the stepper motors. You know, there's like, you know, bipolar and all these crazy things. And so they told me what it was necessary for this configuration. Um, and then uh, as far as the other element, which is the physicality of the installation, uh, that's really been a YouTube video by the gentleman, um, which has uh, led me to instructions and dimensions and hole cutting and all these other things. So that's where we're at. I'm going to email the gentleman and see if he wants me to return these other two standoffs and screws and we'll go from there.